there isn't much that will make you really think of how you want to explain something then or really actually think about what something is or the definition of something there's very little that will make you ponder and think deeper about that than when you have to explain it to a kid I was talking to my son last night I want to start him a gratitude journal I want him to start you know just writing one thing every day about what he's grateful for and he asked me what gratitude is and I was like, well, gratitude is when you're thankful for things, like not material things. I mean, you know, don't, you're not thankful for your laptop. That's not gratitude. Gratitude, truly true gratitude isn't, you know, I'm thankful for, you know, my snacks. I'm not, you know, it's nothing material. I mean, gratitude is when you're thankful for something that's a little bit deeper. And I gave him a, a couple of, of examples, but I still wasn't really pleased with the explanation I was giving him, but I couldn't really think of any other way to describe it. Fast forward about five minutes and I told him, giving him examples of things to write down. And he was like, well, that's a lot to write down. And it was like literally like a sentence with like maybe eight words in it. And I was like, look down, I was like, just stop being lazy. I was like, you know, don't, don't be lazy. If you're gonna do something, do it well, take pride in what you do and don't halfway do something because you think it might be too many words to write or it's too long. And then that's when the explanation of gratitude like really hit me. I was like, you know what? You're asking what gratitude is. I was like, gratitude isn't complaining about having to write something that's gonna take a long time to write. I said, gratitude is when you are grateful that you are able to do that. Gratitude, gratitude is being grateful that you were born capable of writing, that you weren't born with a disability to where you can't hold a pencil or you can't write, that you weren't born without hands or arms. I said, because there's a lot of kids out there that would love, that would give anything to write and they can't do it. I was like, gratitude is when I ask you to clean your room and instead of being lazy and being upset about it, I'm like, I said, gratitude is when you are grateful to A, have a family that can provide everything that you have, having a roof over your head, having the toys that you have to make the mess in your room. Gratitude is having your own room. When there's a lot of kids that don't have their own room, their families have one bedroom, they all sleep in one bedroom. I'm like, there's families without homes. I'm like, there's kids out there in the world that are wondering where their next drink of water is gonna come from and if it's gonna kill them with bacteria. I'm like, gratitude is not complaining about getting up, about having to clean your room, but being grateful that you have a room to clean and toys to pick up. And I'm like, grat gratitude is also being grateful and being thankful that you are capable of doing that. I'm like, there's probably, there's kids out there who were born with handicaps and disabilities that would probably love to get at, get in their room and clean it up, but they can't, they have to have somebody do everything for them. I'm like, so doing that without complaining is showing gratitude. Doing something you don't want to do, doing something that you don't want to do, but you're doing it anyways because you're grateful. I don't, I told him, I said, no, I don't want to wake up when I wake up. I don't want to wake up at six o'clock or seven o'clock in the morning because I get like three or four hours of sleep. My bed's comfortable. It's warm. I don't want to get up. When my alarm goes off, I do not want to get up. It's the last thing I want to do. But I'm, but I, it, but when my alarm goes off and I get up, that's showing gratitude right there. That is how you show gratitude by getting up out of bed when your alarm goes off and being grateful that I woke up, I have another day. I have another day to not only enjoy, but I have another day to improve upon, to level up, to do better today than what I did yesterday. I have that ability to do that today, and I'm grateful for that, and that's gratitude. I had the hardest time trying to explain it to him, but once I, once we came across that, once we came across that, I saw the opportunity to break it down to him like that, and that helped me also understand more about gratitude because it made me think about it. They say that you don't really learn about something until you start teaching it. And and that's true, like with 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 weight, with weight training, with nutrition, I learned more when I when I teach people. I learn more than 
I learned when I spent hours and hours and hours upon months and years studying textbooks and science books and everything, PubMed, everything I can get on the internet. From studying all that, I learned more teaching it. And I guess this one is, this one's about, this one's really just about gratitude. Don't complain about what you have to do. Be grateful that you have the opportunity to do it. No matter how horrible or sucky it is, it doesn't matter how fucking sucky the task is that you have to do. Be grateful that you're able 